Welcome friends, it's Wednesday's Why. I, I tried to be, get her to be more compliant, but this is how she wanted to hang out. So we'll do anything for our pets, we love them so much. Well, sure enough, this week she was laying out in the grass and she got bit by a spider and it bit her five times. Well, how do I know that? Well, I do muscle testing and so I can, she came in and about, we looked at her and we noticed like her nose was starting to get puffy. And I was like, well, that's kind of strange. So I started muscle testing her and sure enough, I found that she got bit by something. Well, we can muscle test to find out what it was. Was it a bee? Was it an ant? Was it a mosquito? When we found out it was a spider. So then I asked, well, how many bites did she get? And I get five. Um, and then a lot of times what happens is spider bites or any kind of bites, they can let in other bacteria. And so sure enough, she got in a bacteria with those bites and the venom. So she started swelling up. So I started muscle testing her and clearing her and finding out what was bothering her system. So it kind of started with her nose and then it went down to her jowls and then kind of her uh, chest area. And it ended up kind of being in her ears um, where there's like, a, they were really thick and hard and, and um, like uh, hot. And so it was kind of her body's way of trying to get rid of the venom. So what we did is in order to decrease the inflammation, we put on Renew 28 with DMSO. And what that does is it allows, it's a, 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 it has components in it that helps decrease inflammation and get to the, a pathogen and clear it. And then the DMSO gets it through the skin. So it's able to get into the tissue areas of lymphatics in order to clear that. So we cleared that. The other thing is that I noticed that she started to stop like jumping up into the bed and things like that. And what that indicated to me is that she was carrying that venom and the bacteria in her ligaments, tendons, joints, muscles, um, that kind of area. And so a lot of times that's what happens with bites is that they go to um, joints and ligaments and tendons that, uh, and that's where the residue resides. And so a lot of times if you say, oh, I got really a uh, shoulder pain. A lot of times that's an old, old bite that has never cleared that particular joint or area. And so a lot of times what we do is we clear that out of that area by identifying what's there and asking the body to, to let that area go. I also noticed that she was kind of docile and that's not usually usual, usual for her. And so I knew that it was impacting her neurotransmitters. Now she had also eaten something bad. And so um, I also knew that's why it was bothering her neurotransmitters. So we cleared out what she had eaten and then cleared out the venom and bacteria out of the neurotransmitters so she can get her happiness back. The other thing I did is I put some life wave patches on her. There's something called Eon, which helps decrease inflammation. And there's also some stem cell patches, which is X39 for healing and X49 that will strengthen. And so I want to strengthen her muscles and her um, joints and things like that. And so that's why I um, put that on her to help that increase. So I'm Jody Colgrove and we help um, people and dogs get to that root cause of their health issue so they can get their health back. And it's really important that we identify, you know, what is it that's going on? What, what's, what's the issue? And once we identify it, then the body can see it so it can heal it. And I always say that, you know, that what I do brings clarity. Well, it brought clarity, clarity to me to know what it was that she was dealing with so that I could help her get well. Then it also brings her energy back because once we get rid of those toxins, then she has her energy. And then I say it brings you peace. Well, it brings you peace knowing that you are helping her the pet or um, your, your your own body get rid of those toxins and to get back to healing. And we're not covering things up with, with Benadryl and just, you know, like driving that um, inflammation to places where it shouldn't be, like the joints and things like that. We're not covering up with symptoms. We're actually solving the symptoms and getting it out of the body. So that's why it's so important to do um, this kind of medicine to help uh, find out what the root cause is. So, um, Look forward to um, helping you and your pets live the happiest life ever. <laughs> Blessings.